Denver Public Schools plan for returning to in-person learning just gets messier. Some, some schools say they just can't safely accommodate the number of students who want to return in person. Others are threatening staff not to talk to the media. Number 7's Russell Haythorn joins us live tonight. Frustrating, Russell, for everybody, parents, students, and teachers. Yes, yeah, Shannon, we talked to a number of parents and teachers today, all of them coming from differing perspectives, but nearly all of them agreeing that uh, all of this has been chaotic, sloppy, and a bit frustrating, and yet most students haven't even stepped foot inside a classroom. As Denver school children begin returning in person. We believe very strongly that it is important for us to open up safely. Questions swirl about staffing levels and the district's ability to accommodate teachers and students. Many of our teachers um, have requested accommodations either based on their own personal health conditions or secondary considerations um, that we are uh, working to um, support as much as possible. Several schools have indicated they simply can't manage the crush of students that have selected in-person instruction and families wonder where that leaves them. What are the parents doing? How does this affect them only being limited time in school? They got to get back and forth, you know, everything they have to deal with. A handful of teachers anonymously reached out to Denver 7 today. This one says schools are bending the rules to allow more students in person, whether it's safe or not, no matter the lack of space or supervision. Another said their school told them not to talk to the media. Our Denver teacher union has a whistleblower protection law. So I think it's really inappropriate that um, school administrators are telling staff members to reply no comment. Meantime, district health advisors say so far so good with the younger children who have returned. Fortunately, we've not seen significant increases in school aged children and I think that's important. And positive cases among DPS employees are in the 1% range thus far. There's just an energy that comes from actually working directly with students that's hard to replicate in a virtual space. The one bright spot in all of this is perhaps daily COVID cases in the city and county of Denver. Denver Health said today that after a slight uptick in cases a few weeks ago, those cases are now leveling off and perhaps even declining just in time for students to return to in-person instruction. We're live in Denver tonight. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.